Hey, greetings from Terry here at D-Lab on the bench. I've got a cool project that I want to share with you guys. As you know, I have a Patreon account. One of my friends on there that lives out in California has access to these really nice wine crates. So he thought, hey, it would be a great idea to take one of these crates, convert it into a combo amp, and put a D-Lab chassis in it. So that's what we've done. So here's the front of it. It's got an 8 inch speaker, it's a forum. And in the rear, we have the chassis, and this back cover lifts up for access. Let me show you the insides. Okay, here is the inside of our wine crate amplifier project. This is the D Lab amplifier module installed in the bottom with some L brackets. So this amp started out as a Fender 5C1 design. So it has the 6SJ7 preamp and a 6V6 output. And the output transformer is a 4 ohm classic tone. So after assembling this amp and playing it, we found that it suffered in gain. It just wouldn't quite break up like you would see with a 5F1. I did a little research and there's several complaints. People saying the same thing. So to solve that problem, I added a 12AX7. So one half of that 12AX7 assists the 6SJ7 to give it more gain. So now this amp will break up nicely. The other half is actually a tremolo. So this is a 5C1 with tremolo. So after the amp was fully assembled and we tested it comparing it to a Fender Champ, we noticed that this amp was bassy. Didn't matter where that tone control was, it just kind of sounded muddy and bassy. So I'll show you the troubleshooting method that I went through to solve the problem. And now this amp sounds like a million bucks. So the test of this amplifier as compared to a Fender Champ, this one in the wine crate is extremely bassy. So the question is, is why? Is it the cabinet? Is it the back panel? So what I'm going to do here is I'm applying my looper. I'm going to play it and pull the back cover off and see if that makes a difference. This is back cover on. Bassy. So what I'm going to do is replace the output transformer with a 4 ohm classic tone. We'll change the inner speaker to an 8 inch 4 ohm speaker and take out the Mod 8 8 ohm speaker. And let's see if it's a little bit closer to the sound of a champ. So the changeover is complete. Now the amp is running a classic tone 4 ohm output transformer and we have a 4 ohm 8 inch speaker. Let's listen to it. Back covers on. Big improvement. I believe it sounds much brighter with this new configuration. All right, there you have it, a successful build. One thing that I didn't show in that test video was the operation of the tremolo circuit, so I'll let you hear that. Here she is. Adjustment. 
So it was a pretty cool project. I'm glad the guy from Patreon told me about these wine crates. We plan to make a few more of these in the future. But in the meantime, if you want to see the details of this amp and other amps that I've created, you can get on my Patreon account and all the information, schematics, the whole bit is there. Check it out.